welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my empties video for the last few months. I think it's three this time around. Three or two or three. One of the two. It's a couple months. Let's just say two to four months of empties. Uh, my bucket is really, 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 really full. Yeah, so I got my garbage bag. I'm ready to go. So let's get right into it. All right, the first product in my empties bucket is this Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. We purchased this travel, it's a travel size, 71 mils. We purchased this in Calgary after we got our tattoos because we needed something that was unscented. And rather than pay extra tax, coming back here, we decided to pick this up there. Um, and we used it for, I guess it lasted me about a month. Between two of us, it lasted us about a month. So really good value for this. It was like $4, so really good value. Worked really well on tattoos because it's super unscented, so it didn't irritate tattoos at all. So if you're looking for a lotion that is unscented, this one's a good one for any tattoo care, aftercare. The next product in here is from Nature Republic. This is their Him Himalaya Salt Cleansing Balm. This is the pink salt version. You can see it's completely empty on the inside. Um, this was worked really well. I'm not a particular fan of the smell because the smell was a bit eh. It was kind of like that unscented perfumed scent. Um, I didn't really enjoy the scent, but the product worked super well. It was really not expensive and I would definitely buy it again. Next up is a bath bomb bag from Lush. This is this was the Twilight bath bomb. Um, and I didn't realize that the Twilight bath bomb has a core, like it's supposed to dissolve slowly in your bath. So when I put it in, I was confused because it's got like this blue core. It's like a purple bath bomb with like a uh, pink like a star impression on it, like a star and moon impression on it. It smells like lavender. It's supposed to help you sleep. So I put it in my bathtub because I was having a bit of insomnia a couple weeks ago. And I put it in my bathtub to help me relax and it didn't dissolve. And I was getting really frustrated because I'm like, why is this not dissolving? And I found out the outside's supposed to be slow dissolving and then slowly it's supposed to come in and there's got like a blue core to it. And then the core is supposed to make your water turn blue and it's supposed to be really calming and all this stuff. But I was so stressed out from the purple, I started breaking it up, which was a mistake. Don't do that. So if you buy the Twilight one, Smells awesome, works really well, I enjoy it, and I think if I buy it again next time, I will use it the proper way. So I will totally repurchase this. Uh, next up is something that's been in my shower forever and ever and ever and ever. This is from the Body Shop. This is the Satsuma Body Polish. I was using this as a scrub, but it's too fine for a scrub for me. It didn't really work all that well as a scrub, so at the end I just started using it as a, we started using it, well we, Tyler and I both started using it as a body wash just to get rid of it. Uh, it smelled nice, but it really didn't do much, so I would not purchase it again. Uh, next up is some Shiseido cotton pads. Uh, facial cottons, I should say. These are really expensive for what they are. They're nice to have, but I find I'm wasting. I feel like I'm wasting a lot of front, a lot of like the cotton pad because they're so thick. I don't feel like I'm using them to the most potential that they have, but I bought them at the VIB sale like last year, I think it was. Um, but I don't know if I would purchase them again that I've discovered a lot cheaper from Korea. So these ones are nice to have as a treat, but they're not something I would go out of my way to repurchase. Next up is a hair care product. This is the Matrix Total Results, Total Results Color Care Intensive Mask. Eh, it was a mask. It worked. There's nothing really super special about it. Smell, eh, didn't really smell all that nice. Um, and I have a really penchant for nice smelling hair care products <laughs> so but it didn't really smell super nice it was okay but i wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase it next up is from innisfree this is the apple juicy deep cleansing foam i've mentioned this before in other empties videos that this is my favorite 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 of all time cleansing foams it smells like apples green apples it smells amazing it's super creamy I love, it foams up really nicely. I love using it after my oil cleanser because it gets everything else off my face and I really love it and I will definitely repurchase this, absolutely. Next up is another product from Lush. This is their Grease Lightning uh, Spot Treatment. I bought for Tyler because he's got oily skin that's acne prone. He hated it, he will not, re he doesn't want it again. He will never repurchase it. He has no desire to even use it. So we're just gonna get rid of it because it's expired. Next up is a mascara. This came in my lash stash, um, travel size mascara stuff, uh, package I got in Calgary from Sephora. This is the Buxom. I didn't like this. This was awful. It really got clumpy and when it wasn't clumpy it was making my lid, lashes look really spidery which I don't like. I like more volume um, and it took a long, like it just took like three or four coats to get any type of lash, like any type of black, like color deposited on my lashes so I would never repurchase this. This is just not good. 
Next up is from Philosophy. This is a shower gel. This is the Senorita Margarita. This smelled awesome. Uh, it was really fresh, but it wasn't overpoweringly lime. It was really a fresh summery scent, which we used uh, in a travel size to go to Calgary. Uh, I loved it. It worked really well, lathered up fine. I would repurchase it again, only if it was on sale because these full price are really expensive. So I would repurchase it on sale. Uh, next up is this Chris Tingle body conditioner. This thing was actually really amazing. It smells, it smells like a sweet mint. Like it smells like the gum you get that's called sweet mint. Like it's not a peppermint, it's not a spearmint, but it's just like that really nice, warm, fuzzy, sweet minty flavor. It actually cooled, it, it cooled, uh, it cooled my skin as well. I used it after shaving on my legs and it really helped to cool down my skin and like really soothe it after shaving, which was awesome. I would totally buy it again, but I think it's only seasonal. So I would totally buy it again around Christmas time. Uh, next up is another Lush product. This one's Snow Fairy. Um, this one was a bit sickening by the end of it. Um, wasn't my, f like it smelled really nice when I first started using it. It smells like candy. It smells like cotton candy mixed with bubble gum. Like it's like awesome but it really got sickeningly sweet at the end and I really didn't like that, so I don't think I would purchase this again, but it was nice to try it while I had it. Uh, next up is another mascara from that Lash Dash uh, bundle. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. It was kind of, for how expensive it is, it was really unremarkable. It really didn't do much special to my lashes. I, it just made them look blacker. So it's not something I would repurchase just because it's so expensive and I've tried a lot cheaper that works a lot better. So, mm, no. Uh, next up is the Ulla Henriksen Nurture Me Cleansing Class. I bought these to go to Calgary, again, as my makeup remover. These work really well as makeup remover, um, but I don't particularly, and it had this really cool plastic, like the, the plastic seal on it, which was awesome because it kept the cloth inside really nice and moist. But um, I don't tend to like to use cleansing cloths unless I'm traveling because cleansing cloths produce a lot of waste and it's not my favorite. Uh, method of removing my makeup. So I would purchase them again if I was traveling, but I would purchase them at Winners where they're seven dollars. It's cheaper than any drugstore brand except for e.l.f. but you get ten more in this one for three dollars more than you would with the e.l.f. one. So I would buy them again if I'm traveling for sure. Next up is this a big sexy hair spritz and stay non-aerosol hairspray. I bought this because I didn't want uh, an aerosol. <laughs> I didn't want an aerosol hairspray for traveling just because you can't take it on in your carry-on and allowed any aerosol sprays. So this one I found, it lasted me a long time. It worked really well. Um, it really deposited quite a nice amount of um, product on my hair without being overpowering and it was a really nice hold. So I really liked it and I would totally reverse this again for traveling. Next up is this Soft Lips Lip Balm. This one is in raspberry, I think. It was, it was unremarkable. It's a lip balm. It's had better for cheaper, so I would go with the cheaper one. Uh, next up is this 3W Clinic Collagen Whitening Eye Cream. This thing actually worked really well to whiten up dark circles under my eyes. It lasted a super long time. It was over six months of use to get rid of this because um, you don't need a lot of it. And it just, it worked super, super well. But only in whitening. It didn't do anything for fine lines. So if you're looking for something to brighten up some dark circles under your eyes, this is a great product to try. Next up is this Origins Original Skin Renewal Serum. This is, uh, again, it's a sample size. This came in a little uh, sample pack that I picked up. I really, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, it was kind of a creamy texture. It was more of an emulsion-y type of texture. I'm throwing it around. Um, but I brought it to Calgary again. It took me two weeks, about, oh, a little over two weeks to use it up and it worked really nicely and I think it's it's kind of comparable to some Korean ones I have, which are kind of cheaper than this, but if I wanted to splurge and kind of spoil myself with something, I would purchase this again. Uh, next up is this Face Shop Mascara. This is the Freshian Volumizing Mascara. I hated this mascara. This mascara was terrible. It actually made my eyes hurt. It made my lashes so prickly that it actually, when I blinked, it hurt my eyes. So this is not something I would repurchase. Um, it's terrible. It's, I've had so many other mascaras from Korea that are a lot better than this for a lot cheaper than this and I just would never repurchase this again. Uh, next up is this Mamonde Happy and Smart Cleansing Foam. I use this in the shower. We use this in the shower in the mornings. It's really nice and fresh smelling. It really wakes you up. It's really a nice um, perk me up in the morning. It's not citrusy, but it's still got that really fresh floral scent and I loved it. It's kind of like a morning glory type of cleansing foam. Super, super smooth, really thick. Um, spread a, it took a little bit to spread it like it, it's more it's kind of got a gelatinous texture to it that's really you got to push really hard on your face to get it to spread 
Um, but yeah, I would totally buy this again. Um, it's not super expensive, but it is more of a higher end brand. Uh, next up is this Face Shop Calendula Essential Moisture Emulsion. This stuff was okay. Um, I had it in my 10 step skincare routine um, for the winter and then I used it in the mornings till it was gone. It was a little bit liquidy to use it in the mornings, it was not my favorite, um, but it didn't really, I didn't notice anything remarkable about it for the price you pay for it, so I don't think I would purchase that again. Uh, next up, I have a high highlighter. Yes, this is the Too Faced Candlelight Glow Highlighting Powder Duo. Um, this didn't show up on my face. I didn't like it um, for the amount they're, want, they're asking for the price of it is awful. I didn't like it. It's not worth it to me. I would never repurchase it. All right, on to my samples that I had this time around. I'm gonna start with this one. This is the Bosha Subaki Cleansing Oil Gel. Hated this, smelled awful. Um, didn't actually remove my mascara completely and I wasn't even wearing waterproof mascara so it didn't actually do anything. Um, and it claims to remove all your makeup. Um, and it just didn't work and it just it made my eyes water it smell so perfumed it was awful so i would never purchase that uh next up i have the misha super aqua refreshing cleansing clinging cream again the smell was a bit offensive i didn't like the smell of it i worked fine but it wasn't something i would go out of my way to purchase next up is the face shop chia seed fresh cleansing foam again pretty unremarkable i wouldn't go out of my way to buy it Next up is the Apu Deep Clean Foam Cleanser Moist. Yeah, this one didn't smell very good either. Uh, again, unremarkable, didn't really do anything special. I would not go out of my way to buy it. And the last pro last sample before we get into sheet masks that I have is this from First Aid Beauty. This is the Skin Rescue Deep Cleanser with Red Clay. Um, it's to remove excess oils, unclog pores, and purify it. This is probably because I'm not oily. Uh, and I don't need purification of my skin. So this didn't work for me. I didn't really like it. Um, it wasn't as perfumed as the other ones, but it still was unremarkable for the price tag they want you to pay for it. So I would not purchase this. All right, so I have a bunch of sheet masks here. So we're just gonna whip through them and I'll let you know my opinions on them. Most of them are the same as they've always been. So uh, the first one here is the J. June. It's a collagen skin fit mask. I love these masks. They're super soft and they're, oh, I have something on my nose. They're super soft. They come with an extra step of essence up here that you put on before the mask. The mask is really moist. It works really well. I really love it, but it is a bit pricey. So if you're on a budget, that's probably not the one you want to buy. Um, this Innisfree Blackberry one. I love the smell of this. Uh, I love Innisfree masks. They're in my top three masks. Really got something on my nose. They're in my top three masks um, and uh, mask brands, um, and they're all natural, so it's really nice. They stay really moist on your face. They just smell nice. It's just wicked. Another industry one, this one is in bamboo, super fresh, really great after a day outside in the sun or if it's really hot out because it's super cooling. And then I have the Animal SNP Animal Cutie Mask Pack Whitening or Brightening. This is the panda one. Um, makes your face look like a panda. Makes Tyler look amazing. I want to take a picture of him, but he won't let me. <laughs> but it makes Tyler look hilarious. I love it. Uh, it has little ears at the top and everything. Um, this comes with like three extra days of essence just at the bottom of the package. It's crazy how much extra they give you to keep the mask moist, but it stays on your face. It smells a bit eh, but it's not super bad. So I would, I mean, for the price I paid, I think I've got like three. I do think I paid like $3 for 10 of them from Style Korean. So, I mean, if for $3 for 10 of them, I would purchase them again. Next up, I have the Sim Natural Oatmeal Mask Sheet. I did this one last night. The smell was a bit, again, eh, didn't really smell super great, but uh, it worked really well. It made my skin feel really nice. And I found it was just moist enough that it sat on your face for 20 minutes. It actually absorbed almost the essence all, like it kept that barrier there so the essence would absorb completely into your skin and it didn't feel super wet afterwards. So I didn't have to pat all that much to get it in, which was awesome because it made my skin feel really, 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 really nourished. Another Innisfree one, this one's in strawberry. Again, smells really good, love the masks. Another J. June one. Uh, and then I have this SNP one. Uh, this is the Animal Tiger Wrinkle Mask. It's an, a tiger face. Again, Tyler looks hilarious wearing these. Um, again, and it's the same deal as the Panda one. It comes with this crazy amount of essence at the bottom. You got like three, two or three days afterwards of just essence. So it helps you save your, uh, save on product costs because you've got two or three extra days at the end of it. So I would purchase these again, same price. It was like 10 for three bucks. It was on clearance, again, on Style Korean. I would purchase them again just because they're, they're fun. 
if they were on for 10 for 3 again. Another industry one, this one is the uh, rose one. Uh, smelled actually perfumed, but not super perfumed like the other ones I was talking about. Uh, the smell was actually very nice. It was very light, fresh scent, so I would totally purchase this one again. And then I have this Etude House 0.2 millimeter ones. This is my favorite sheet mask brand. Um, this one's a strawberry. Smelled amazing, really thin, really moist and saturated, and it really stayed on my face really well, so I would totally buy that one. Oh, I got a sample in here. Oh, I got the Etude House Baking Powder BB Deep Cleansing Foam. Again, unremarkable. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it unless it was on sale or it was the cheapest option. Another Innisfree Strawberry and then an Innisfree Shea Butter a mask. This mask is more cream versus essence. It helps if you're feeling really, really dry. Um, we've had a couple really dry days here lately and this really helped to save my skin and keep it really supple and moist and I really enjoyed using it. Um, the mask was really refreshing and saturated with the cream. It was just, oh, it was lovely. And the last one is another J. June one. All right, so that's it for my empties video this time. Let us know down in the comments below what you, you've, you've used up this month. Uh, and if you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up down below. And if you wanna see more content from me, don't forget to hit the little red subscribe button. And if you wanna be notified when I post new content, don't forget to hit the little bell next to it. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.